interesting one, Digger, because Virginia, you thought their backcourt was going against maybe the best in the incident of a lot of great guards uh, this year, but what about tonight's game that we're about to go to between Evansville and Indiana? Bob Knight seems to have balance on both sides of the court, front and backcourt. Well, he's got balance with freshmen. Gary, what's happened? You take a look at the Big Ten. The last two years in the NCAA tournament, they're 3-11. and 11. Nobody through the Sweet 16. Why? No speed, no quickness. So you watch this game. You're going to love A.J. Guyton because he's the penetrating guard. You're going to love the seven-foot center. Jason Collier will dominate inside, and that's what Knight loves about these two freshmen. I'm not so sure Evansville's going to love that, but we're about to find that out. We've seen some surprising things going on so far in the early going. We're going to get you back to Madison Square Garden for the second half of our NIT doubleheader after this. It starts as a blank ribbon of newsprint. Then it captures the most important business news from around the globe to become the Wall Street Journal. No one looks at the world quite like the Journal. It not only reports the facts, it tells you what they mean and how they'll affect you, your family, your career. Whether it's news from Wall Street, Main Street, Frankfurt, or Tokyo, the Wall Street Journal keeps you on the cutting edge with news and insights on everything that can affect you personally and professionally. And because our readers use its unique power to help them succeed, we do it again every business day. The Wall Street Journal, always relevant, always useful. Subscribe now and have the journal delivered to your home or office. And with your paid subscription, you'll also receive our free personal finance software to help you make smart decisions. Get 10 weeks of the journal and the software for only $3.80 a week. Call now, 800-376-2800. That's 800-376-2800 for the Wall Street Journal. I've had a computer for a couple of years now, but to be honest, I didn't see what all the fuss was about. Then I got America Online. Now I use it all the time. It makes my life easier. Watch. Use email to send messages to family and friends. Point and click your way around the internet with America Online's great new web browser. And there's more. Scan hundreds of magazines, get sports scores, enjoy hobbies, even shop online. So call this toll-free number and get everything you need to make your life easier and more fun. Semifinals continues with Hoosier Heaven. It's Evansville and number 20, Indiana. In 1976, Bob Knight's Indiana Hoosiers went 32 and 0 to become the last team to go undefeated on their way to the national championship. Jim Cruz played for Coach Knight on that historic team. Tonight, he brings his purple aces to Madison Square Garden for the very first time and faces his old coach. Hi, everybody. Joel Myers, along with Dick Vitale. Welcome back to the Garden once again. Duke is in the championship game on Friday night right here on ESPN. Now we find out, Dick, whether it's going to be Indiana or Evansville. Nice little subplot coming into the game. The teacher against the student. Bobby Knight against former player and assistant for eight years, Jim Cruz. Interesting subplot. Bobby Knight also told us, though, he doesn't relish it, doesn't like facing former assistants or players. Well, you know, you talk about the coaching fraternity in such a small world. You talk about Jim Cruz, a member of that 76 team that he served for eight years as an assistant coach at Indiana before he went to Evansville and has done an outstanding job in his 11 years at Evansville. Bob Knight sung his praises big time to me today. He said he can flat out coach. So we got Bob Knight going against Jim Cruz and the winner plays against Mike Krzyzewski who 75 was a graduate assistant at Indiana while Cruz played and Bob Knight was coaching. A small, small world. One guarantee it's going to be an emotional game tonight for Jim Cruz and Bob Knight. They need a big one from Neil Reed as well. We'll find out if he can come through. Evansville, Indiana, up next. Office Furniture USA sells quality pieces at 50% off every day. How can the competition possibly match that? <laughs> That's a hint. Office Furniture USA. 50% off every day. You know, Vern, times like these when family and friends get together are so special. Like our relationship with Audubon Chrysler Center. We can count on Audubon Chrysler for the great deals and big selection that make special times like these 
so much more enjoyable. Shall I, Carl? What'll it be, Vern? Light or dark? <laughs> Master Tire and Accessories, your Cooper Tire dealer in Evansville, has undergone a major expansion in both their showroom and service department. When you visit the showroom, you'll find tires of all sizes, from lawnmower tires up to steel radio semi-tires. They also have high-performance tires and light truck tires, as well as 40, 50, 60, and 80,000 mile tires. Compare prices and see the difference. All tires and services available at Master Tire in both Evansville and Jasper. Buy American. Buy Cooper Tires. You'll be proud you did. Plymouth, quality is the top priority for every one of our vehicles. We've set hundreds of goals and benchmarks, and we're constantly looking for ways to improve. Because our goal is to provide the highest quality in every vehicle we build. ESPN's presentation of the NIT is brought to you by Chase. At Chase, the right relationship is everything. And by Plymouth. One clever idea after another. That's Plymouth. Well, they didn't face each other from 1935 until 1994. The Aces of Evansville and the Indiana Hoosiers ranked 20th in the nation. Both perfect at 3-0 so far. Now they get together in the Chase NIT semifinals. Not only that, they'll get together again about three weeks down the road. They Joel Myers along with Dick Vitale as we take a look at the starting lineups. Marcus Wilson, their leading scorer, only a sophomore. Member of the Missouri Valley Conference's all-newcomer team last year was Sullivan, Quinn, Morales, and Hollander as well. And Jason Collier, the freshman, looking impressive. Foul trouble early, but a very aggressive end young man and runs the floor well. In fact, we're told that Bobby and I got very involved in the recruiting of Jason Collier, even more so than normal. Well, I would get involved as well. A seven-footer who's Mr. Basketball in Ohio. His dad played at Georgia Tech, and Georgia Tech was really in there strong. But the general won him out. Bottom line is he's wearing a Hoosier uniform. Young man with the ball, Neil Reed has done a great job of the first three. Working with a freshman in the backcourt, guy. They wanted to see some leadership from Reed. Reed's done a better job moving without the basketball, utilizing the screens, getting free. He's the only guy making threes for Indiana. They've really struggled shooting the three, three with the exception of Reed. Charlie Miller will go to the line to shoot two. He's a guy they need some points out of. He was a big-time scorer in high school down in Miami, talking to Dan Dockage, the fine assistant coach for Indiana last night in the lobby of the hotel. He said, we got to get some point production out of Miller, who's really struggled early because he's had a groin injury that kept him out of practice for a long period of time. Better 6'7", 215-pound junior. Had a tough opener with Connecticut. Come up empty on a free throw line right there. And got a great performance in the second half out of A.J. Guyton. I really love him from out of Peoria, Illinois. He's just a real competitive kid with good quickness. Puts a lot of pressure on the basketball defensively. Working out of the backcourt, Sullivan, along with Marcus Wilson. Both guys can shoot the ball, Sullivan and Wilson. Farley like a third guard. He's an aggressive scorer. Farley was an all-time leading scorer. His 1995 in high school averaged 28 points a game to lead the state of Indiana in scoring. They like to run a passing game, a little dribble penetration. The walk, Sullivan being held out by Guyton. You're going to see very similar offensive styles, of course, with the teacher. Up against the student. There's the student, Jim Cruz, 12th year at Evansville. He's done a sensational job. Now, they're members of the Missouri Valley Conference, so step up. He had five postseason tournament bids while he's been at Evansville, three NCAA, two NIT, five 20-game win season. Collier putting the ball on the floor against Morales, and he's got his pocket picked by Wilson. Morales very strong on the inside. Wilson gave a lot of help. This quality, very aggressive. Patterson coming over to take care of it. I tell you, they didn't like his production early. He didn't practice really well. And Jim Cruz, like Bob Knight, has learned from the master. As we look, Farley taking it to the goal. Didn't play a minute in the first game against Drexel. And they made some big, big baskets against Iona in the second round. Started the third game, averaged 18. And now here he is starting tonight. Farley, the little nice play. Morales on the weak side. It's Quinn. Count it. 
He'll go to the line looking for the three-point play, but it all started with a beautiful pick and roll and bounce. Well, they ran a little screen and roll, got to the basket on the screen and roll. Quinn with a good offensive rebound. We're going to see a little screen up on top. Freeze it. There's that little high screen. Now he comes off. He releases to the basket. But it's the weak side rebound here that becomes a factor. Now they're going to see the little screen and roll. Now freeze it. Right here. Nobody blocking him out. There's the offensive rebound. And Chris Quinn. He's a good defensive player, Quinn. He's got the three-point play. He's matched up with Patterson. Patterson just ran him over. Patterson got to take him inside, take advantage of his size. On the 45, Andre Patterson. They got to get him the ball. Guyton, three on the wing. Bounced out by Sullivan, who draws the body foul. I think, Joel, if we see the kind of effort tonight from these kids from the University of Evansville, like we saw at practice today, I mean, they really were intense. A reflection of their coach, Jim Cruz, who, as we said earlier, eight years under the general Bobby Knight. He told me today, the one thing I learned from Coach Knight, the utilization of time to get maximum out of every bit of practice. On the wing, Marcus Wilson. Guyton with the rebound. Evansville getting back well in the transition defensively. Guyton finds a seat. Oh, Beautiful nice scoop. Spot. I love A.J. Guyton. I sat the other day. I said, I like A.J. I like A.J. And you can see why. He really is going to be a special point guard at Indiana because he has a ability to score as well as pass the ball. Big-time All-Stater at Peoria Central High School. They got a lot of people here that can shoot the threes, but Indiana locked it up on the perimeter. Not going to give that great look for the three. Sullivan on line, but long on that three-point attempt, and Guyton gets the long one off the heel. He was 45% from three-point range last year. They struggled out of the gate offensively, Evansville, but they played well defensively to win their first two games. Batters trying to establish position, held by Quinn. A.J. Guyton right now, a little shake and bake, going to get free, a little dribble penetration. Comes from the same high school that produced Chris Reynolds that played on the, really what I call the last outstanding Indiana team, 1993. Albert Cheney and company. Left-handed hook, Collier after his own. It's last up by Morales. Good aggressive move, though. Collier, he knew it was coming up short. He slipped inside Morales. He was Mr. Basketball in Ohio. Had a great career. Everybody was pursuing him. And right now they had him, though they missed him. Recognition of the big guy, making passing, good decisions, passing the basketball. He lays some big screens as well, Collier. Patterson with a great look. Collier blew it. Now he's fouled by Sullivan. But you bring up a great point. If the big guy's going to work that hard, inside, reward him. Yeah, you got to reward him and get him the ball at the right time. I don't think it's a fact of any of the time. The players don't want to get the ball inside. I think that's an art that's really forgotten. How to enter the ball to the post player. Second foul on Sullivan. He'll have to sit down. See, 40s now, right now, catches the basketball. It's fouled on a play. Jason Collier is going to be a big time factor down at Indiana once he learns how to be a little bit more effective inside, how to use screens, how to run the angle cuts. Central score just came at the game as Collier hits the first of two. John Reisinger taking it over out of Harrison High School. Yeah, Evansville, same as Calvert Chain, Walter McCarty. He broke all their records, but there's a little asterisk in his senior year at Calvert Chain. I was teasing Reisinger last night at breakfast, like last night at dinner. I said, Reisinger, I got to put an asterisk there. And Calvert Chain, his senior year, had a broken foot, didn't play much in his senior year. Moving pick on the young man who just came into the game, Kurt Begley. He's a pretty good shooter. Begley's got good range as a shooter. Notre Dame was recruiting him. In fact, he came up to me, so I remember meeting you and Digger Phelps down at Parisi's, the Italian restaurant. Digger's one of Digger's favorite places that he goes in South Bend, Indiana. Good boy secrets, are you? I think Digger gets free meals down there. I think he gets free meals. I don't think he pays for those meals down at Parisi. I pay double. And now, foul away from the ball on Patterson over on the weak side. So five team fouls early on Evansville. That is the second against the Hoosiers, the first, or make it the second on Patterson. We know about all the tradition down in Bloomington, Indiana, but a lot of people aren't aware of the great tradition at Evansville. The Purple Aces, Aaron McCutcheon had those five division championships, college division championships. He's in the Hall of Fame, the late coach McCutcheon. Morales snakes his way past Collier. Nice move inside by Emmy Morales, good strong inside player, excellent post position. 
Chadwick reversing Charlie Miller for three. See, confused, using a three-point line again from the NBA versus the college line. We saw that in the first game tonight. And the reach in from Farley on the putback drive by Patterson. He'll go to the line to shoot two. You bring up a good point again. They're behind the NBA three. Farley's from out of Reebok High School out in Indianapolis. Same high school that produced Allen Henderson, who was outstanding at Indiana. Started to redshirt last year, but because of injuries, gave up that status yeah. January 1st. They unredshirted him. They unredshirted him because they lost Sparks. They lost a kidney. Brian Jackson to injuries. That is giving Indiana one point lead. Don't forget, first ever 24 hour All Sports News Network ESPN News. Available now to contact your local cable operator. Contact them, your satellite provider as well. Get the service ESPN News. Patterson two for two at the strike and a two-point Indiana lead just about four minutes into the contest our second semifinal I'll tell you Andre made a big play against Connecticut when they needed a big basket he asserted himself down the stretch and they need that from him Begley comes off the bench with a three well we just said that Begley's got range as a shooter the big guy can flat out shoot the three these kids from Evansville can shoot they work on it every day handling the ball shooting the basketball and I know the numbers don't show that in their early games but they can square up and shoot the open shot. Patterson walks. Evansville gets it back when we come back with a one-point lead. Chase Business Revolving Credit meant that Oscar Colon's furniture company could hire more workers when they got their biggest order ever. Business Revolving Credit, one of 72 ways we help small businesses grow. And another way you're worth more at our bank. Chase, because the right relationship is everything. We didn't want Plymouth Neon Espresso to be some ordinary Joe. So we added a little sweetener. Stuff like fog lamps, 40 front bucket seats, and 150 horses in a dual overhead cam engine. The result? The new Plymouth Neon Espresso. Now you can get all this and more for a price that'll really open your eyes. Only at your Plymouth dealer. Man, nothing like a new pair of Nike turf trainers. Yeah, you know Steve Young works out in the air zoom fly. Oh, can that guy hustle? All right. Hey, you're Steve Young. Hey, what's up? So, what do you think? Nobody gets you closer to the game than Foot Locker, where it all begins. Aces have the ball, and they've got a one-point lead with 15.49 left in the opening half. And welcome back to the Garden. There's Hall of Fame coach Aaron McCutcheon. Started the tradition. You talk about those sleeves. Where do they come from? Well, the former Evansville coach started it better than 50 years ago. It left for a while, but Jimmy Cruz brought it right back. Yeah, he brought it back out of respect to them. Hey, they sent me one of those. I got one of those shirts with my name on the back, Joel. They sent it. Jim Cruz mailed me his shirt about two years ago. Now, look, he's putting something in his pocket, a secret that he's going to pull out later. And we got to look for that. That's very important what he put in his pocket. That's a play for late in the game. Kareem Richardson on the timeout. Out of the floor for the first time tonight for Evans Hill. He played the point a lot last year, Richardson, and it had this surgery, had a back injury, and this surgery uh, in September. Wilson over Guy. And Miller takes it away from Collier. Double Fugues there. Evans will get back defensively really quick. They get back, making a five on five game. Indiana running their fame passing game, trying to get Reed free off some screens. Nice fake by Reed. Trying to get it over to the other side. He knew Patterson was there along with Collier. The takeaway by Begley. Low percentage play once Reed got caught in the air. The Evansville kids have really, really learned how to win close games. Last year, they were losing those close games. And the one thing that impressed me about Jim Cruz, he said, you know, I don't want to hear about injuries. I don't want to hear that we had injuries. We had guys ready to play. And they had to step in, and we didn't, just didn't get the job done. And you got to like a coach that believes he can win and that everybody should contribute. Richardson goes the distance. Nice drive by Richardson. 
Beautiful young man. Had a chance to talk to him last night. He's going to be really outstanding in his future. The kids got it together. All academics as well. Three-point lead now for Evansville. Reed leaving it off for Patterson. And the assist to Neil Reed. The basket for Andre Patterson. Neil Reed with that little kick out. You get into the gap. You make that dribble penetration. You kick it out. And Patterson knocks it down. Begley out there to provide the pick. It's got to be like practice right now. When you're in Indiana, you really see all of these screens every day in practice. So you're really working against something that you're very familiar with. Looking for fear. Rub after rub. They run those screens. Both these clubs really go ahead hunting. Begley, second three. Short. And Collier with the board. Good stroke, though, by the big guy Begley. They lob over Begley. Patterson, hammer. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Patterson came in with such a big-time reputation. He really came in with a big reputation out of Texas. We're going to watch about Reed now penetrate into the gap. You're going to see Reed come off the screen, freeze it, right here. He gets into this gap. Now watch, he's going to drift out, and he's going to kick up the ball right here. He squares up, and there it is, the wide-open jump shot by Patterson. But Reed made that happen by getting right into the gap of that defense. Patterson going to the line. Three officials, Larry Lembo, John Hughes, Frank Scagliotta. 26 years on a sideline in Hoosier country, Robert Montgomery Knight. I used to watch some magical moments at Madison Square Garden when he came in with his West Point team. Really did a phenomenal job at West Point, challenging, and that's when the NIT postseason was really special. Played a big role in the placement of Mike Krzyzewski at West Point after Mike served one year under Bob as a graduate assistant, got him the job there, and then also to help to get him the job at Duke. And then from there, it's been history. Mike certainly has applied a lot of his principles, plus the principles he learned under Bob. Reisinger. Was it deflected? No. Weisinger wants the deflection. He's it looked like there was out front. He's missed a lot of practice time. He's been out with a hamstring problem and hasn't really had a whole lot of practice, Weisinger. It's even at 10. Six and a half minutes in. Guy trying to post up Collier. Indiana put the hurt on Evansville last year over at Evansville. Patterson, nice little jump hook. Big time Floating. move, big time move, sliding and gliding in the lane. Jim Cruz said last time we played them, when we played them at Evansville, our kids were in awe. Everybody was excited. Here comes the Hoosiers, first time up to Evansville. I don't think there's that awe today. I really don't. Richardson leaning and forcing. Can't buy it. Seven of the first 12 for Indiana, belonging to Andre Patterson. The kick and a reset on the shot clock, back to 35. There's some common elements of an Indiana offense. Screen away from the basketball, excellent spacing, which means 15 to 17 feet apart. They really do such a job, their coaching staff, charting, analyzing each possession, and really teaching all the time. I mean, Bob Knight loves to teach. Mike Krzyzewski addressed that at the press conference. He said, I learned about the intricacies of the game and the teaching of the game from Bob when I played for him at West Point. Well, yeah, Zinovich in now. Taking over for Collier down low. Also in Michael Lewis for the Hoosiers. Mike reach in by late. Michael Lewis scored over 3,000 points in high school at Jasper, and he finished, finished second in a running for Mr. Basketball in Indiana. The kid that's playing now for Steve Alford, another former Hoosier, Kevin Alford at Southwest Missouri State. Evansville. Already over the limit. We've got 12.56 left in the half, and Indiana has always been a good free throw shooting team under Bobby Knight. In the, when you talk about Evansville, Evansville under Cruz, they won four Midwestern Collegiate Conference championships, but now, as you said earlier, have moved to the tough Missouri Valley. I look for the Midwestern Collegiate to be a shootout with Northern Illinois and also Detroit. Detroit's really going to have an outstanding year this year. Perry Watson doing some positive things. There's a look at Jim Cruz. In 73, he started in the backcourt as a freshman with Quinn Buckner. And it went to the NCAA Final Four and lost to Bill Walton and company. And then in the next game, Walton came back in the finals against Memphis State and went 21 for 22 to win the national title. I was at the arena in St. Louis. You were there? And he did it most there. of it off the watching, glass. I was watching on TV. You were most there. I'm jealous. I'm jealous of you, Joel. First time ever. 12.56 left in the opening half. Patterson with a couple of more free throws. He has ignited a 7-0 run as he takes a seat on the bench now. He was stepped on by Sullivan and went to box him after that first free throw, and he came away from the free throw line limping a little bit. 
So Patterson sitting down. And the young man from Southern California, Richard Mandeville. 33% for Evansville, 4 for 12, 3 for 7 for Indiana. And they've had a tough time shooting the ball early this season. Evansville, something they're really concerned about because they got some pretty good shooters. Wilson. Good look at the hoop. Couldn't get it to go. Tough drive by Wilson. He's a big-time scorer. Really can make free throws. Outstanding free throw shooter. Charlie Miller. Over-anxious. Yeah, really was. Well. Should have just pulled up one or two dribbles. Shoot the open jump shot. Four turnovers committed now by Indiana. Compared to two so far for Evansville. Evansville a little bit in awe of Indiana. Last year, they were hammered. Lost by 28. Bobby Knight having a little conversation with Larry Lumbo. He knows Larry. Larry's been around this area lots of years. Look at it, too. Larry had the game last night, the Cincinnati Xavier game. He said it was quite a game. Look, let him have a little conversation. Maybe he's inviting him to Turkey Day. Think he's inviting him out for Thanksgiving? I don't, I don't think it's an automatic. I think the general says, come on, we'll go have some cranberry juice, some turkey. Come on, Larry. Sullivan working. Good ball handling. Big guy. South fundamentally are cool. Look at the basket, triple threat position, square their bodies. Really well coached. Bobby really sung the phrases of Jim Cruz today. He said, his kids really know how to play. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Sullivan doesn't get the roll. Last Over Lewis. Year, last year he got the roll. Shot 45% from three-point range. Can't get open layups. They really get back defensively. Wilson blocking the path of Guyton, who had the step on the baseline. So A.J. Guyton back to the stripe. You know what I liked was when we talked to Jim Cruz earlier today, and he had mentioned that the one thing he took away from playing for Coach Knight, working for Bob Knight, he taught every day. Some guys go there and maybe they don't are on top of it. But it's one thing that was the key emphasis for Bobby Knight. He showed up every day as a real teacher. He has some special friends in this area as well. I tell you, he was on a phone, working the phone, making sure that they were going to, they wanted to come. I had tickets for him. I mean, he's a loyal guy. I mean, the bottom line is, if he's your friend, he'll do anything for you. Tony LaRusso, manager of the St. Louis Cardinals. Oh, very friend. close. Very close with LaRusso. I walked into the Cardinal clubhouse like it was the Oakland A's clubhouse. And Bill Bobby Parcells Knight with as well. Bill Parcells as well. Very close with Parcells. Coaching now with the Patriots. They got to know each other when Parcells was an assistant up at West Point. But Bobby was the coach up there. So she's leaded by six. And most of their points have come at the free throw line. Everything you need to know about Plymouth Breeze, you already learned in kindergarten. Take turns. Share with others. Follow the rules of safety. And oh yeah, bring something really cool to show and tell. The new Plymouth Breeze. A blade can leave you feeling irritated. What would possess it to do that? Introducing the Norelco Reflex Action Razor. A great shave with less irritation than blades. The good news is Little Caesar's Pizza by the Foot is big. Whoa, That's ah. also the bad news. Hey, look out! Pizza by the Foot. Nearly three feet of pizza and free Italian bread, just ten ninety nine. dollars Carried out or have it delivered. Pizza, pizza. Things a mess. <laughs> Feeling stressed. Pizza. P-Touch, electronic labeling system. P-Touch it. Nine to nothing run now for Bobby Knight's Hoosiers of the last three plus minutes. But don't forget, college football on the deuce. Mississippi State, Mississippi. Talk about old rivals. That's at 12.30 Eastern time. And then the Pirates of East Carolina taking on the Wolfpack of North Carolina State. Second half of our ESPN2 doubleheader college football coming your way on Saturday. Joel Myers along with Dickie V.
10 of 12 at the strike for the Hoosiers. That's going to trademark of Indiana. Get to the free throw line, really utilize their screening, get the ball inside, drive, the slashers, be able to be aggressive offensively and get yourself opportunities at the free throw line because that's where you win so many games. Well, a nine to nothing run right now. Five of the nine have come at the line as Morales didn't take it with him. Nice little bounce across the paint, though. Good defense, though. Got right into the lane, the passing lane, the deflection. Indiana really started a for you man theory. Bobby Knight really credits a lot of that to the former assistant at St. John's, Al LaFalvo, who was a legend in New Jersey. Worked with him as an assistant at West Point. Miller charging over Begley. Charlie Miller, that's his first. Good job. Evans were rotating over defensively, giving help to one another. Hey, look for the Big Ten. Right now, you got three conferences without a postseason. The Big Ten, the Ivy, and the Pac-10. Right. Look for the Big Ten to adopt that philosophy and go to a postseason. And they say one of the reasons Lon Kruger and Dick Bennett have arrived in the league and sold the coaches on the excitement generated by playing in a postseason. Economics has nothing to do with it. Begley, well, now one for three from three-point range. Well, they think it's also going to help in the way of the NCAA. As we watch right here, a drive by Dyke and the ball goes outside. I don't buy that argument because if you look at 95, UCLA wins the national title. They weren't in a league right. that had it. You looked at the years that Michigan went to the final game at a, with their Fab Five in 91 and 92. You look at Indiana's success over the years. But what it will do, it will create excitement during a period of time when it's a little dead in the Big Ten because everybody else is playing in the postseason. And that helps recruiting. That creates better talent. That's what the league needs. Reed. Good look off the cut, the assist to Michael Lewis. And the general Bob Knight is against it, and so is Clem the Gem Haskins. Eight-point lead now for the Hoosiers. Evansville, big trip. I like the way Reed utilizes the screen. That's a special art to be able to get free and run guys into screens. Vanderbilt with the block, but he also got a piece of the hand. And a couple of free throws coming up. Neil Reed really knows how to use the screen. We're going to watch him right now as he's going to come right off the screen in this area. See how they've got a screen in this area? He's going to come off the screen, the curl move. Now he curls right in the lane, freeze it. He's wide open. Once he gets a little bump here, he's wide open in this area here. Catches the ball, and you can count it. Once he squares his body, a little fadeaway J knocks it down. First point over the last four minutes and 19 seconds for Evansville, and it comes from Chris Quinn at the free throw line after an 11-0 run by the Hoosiers of Indiana. He's a tenacious defender. They utilize him as a defensive player, run some angle cuts on the inside, slasher. They go to their bench quite a bit. They rotate 10 players, Evansville. Farley coming in for Quinn now. Farley, a good score. Inside, outside guy. Now Missouri Valley, you got some good clubs in here. Illinois State sent a message loud and clear, blowing out Pittsburgh in the Big East at Pittsburgh. Marcus Wilson right now, a blanket on Neil Reed. Foul away from the ball. Yeah, he's playing him tough, but I'll tell you one thing. He's going to run Marcus into a lot of screens. Also in Missouri Valley, Bradley, Jim Molinari's done a heck of a job. Anthony Parker, a star player. Bujasinovic with his first foul. Muye Zinovich. I work all day on that name. Muye Zinovich. Muye Zinovich. How do I have it? Come on, Joel. Help me out. You're all over it. I'm going to call him Harris. There's that screen by Begley. Now I'll step out. Look at Harris helping out in the lane. Harris helping out in the lane. He's helping out in the Sullivan lane. Sullivan Watts took an extra step. And then Harris made like a referee. I like these players that like the referee. They like to do that. They like to make that little roll. I wish the camera would show me making that roll. I like making that roll. Look at these guys right here. Look at the Duke. He's watching. They're looking for the guys. There's McLeod and Carlisle and the whole gang watching. The St. Anthony's going to play in the final. You're going to play in the final. We might play the Hoosiers. Reed got away from Wilson, but was held by Wilson. Wipe off the basket. Neil Reed to the free throw line. Play at Indiana. You better learn how to move without the basketball. Well, that is the 10th team foul on Evansville. Rest of the way, two free throws. 9.42 left in the half, Dick. You talk about him and Jim Cruz. In 1973, he was a starter in the backcourt with Quinn Buckner when they lost to UCLA, as I said earlier. And then in 75, they had a great run. They had one loss. They lost to Kentucky, and they had beaten Kentucky earlier, but Scott May was out where they may have went and won back-to-back -back national titles. In fact, I really believe this. I introduced Bobby Wilkerson recently at a banquet who played on that club and I said one of the great achievements I don't think I'll ever see it again in my lifetime they went 36-0 two years in a row in the Big Ten.
We will not see that happen. Pretty amazing in conference play. That's, that's amazing. Think you about that, it. Joel. 18 and zip. Went on a road. We will not see that happen again. Don't forget, you were just talking about postseason attorneys adopting it, the Big Ten. Don't forget, the Pac-10 did do it for a few seasons, mid-80s, and they got away from it. And they're going to come back again. Mark it down. They're studying it. Look for the Pac-10 in about two, three years. The Big Ten in about a year adopting that plan. Begley one for three beyond the arc. And an opportunity passed up. Look at this Shot right clock here. inside of five. They better hurry. Luya Zinovic did a great They're job. They're not communicating. They're going to lose it. Yes, sir. Good team. Great Good job. Team. Dan Dockage jumps up. He likes that. The assistant Dockage. He's the guy who got credit for playing against Michael Jordan when they beat Jordan in 1984. The year that Georgetown dominated out in Seattle. Reed for three. Can't let him shoot the three. Got to find him. Got to square your body and find it. He can shoot the open three. Indiana by 10. Starting to look like the matchup against the Billikens when Indiana jumped all over St. Louis University and didn't let the Billikens get back in it. Reed's the only guy that's making threes, though. Indiana have only one other three other than Reed. Wilson for three answers for Evansville, and did they ever need it? He can shoot the three. He can really shoot the three. A great free throw shooter. Last year was seventh in the nation on a free throw line. Marcus Wilson. Dice, he quit. Oh, look at Bujasinovic. Bujasinovic. Automatic. That was a pass, I know. Good effort right <laughs> there by the big guy. Harris staying on top of the situation and bailing out A.J. Guyton. Leaves it nine for Indiana, 24-15. Wilson, way short. Back to the Hoosiers. Quinn coming back in. Indiana getting a great high school player next year. Bob Gibbons, who rates players for All-Star Sports down in Carolina, rates him one of the top five in the United States. Luke Wrecker. Remember that name, the Rip Wrecker. Howard Garfinkel laid that nickname to him, the Rim Wrecker. Other scores around the country. We approach the eight-minute mark remaining in the first half, dominated by Indiana so far. Guy beats Richardson. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Trying to help him out was Begley coming over, but a clear path in the paint. Well, A.J. really knows how to get into the seam of the defense and get his opportunities at that free throw line. And remember, we're looking at a team composed of a lot of young players. They're going to have some up moments and some down moments. Well, what a great way to start. Winning some close games. There's Guyton right now. He smells the seam, goes to the seam. Begley tries to step over, the slides, and doesn't get really squared in front of him. Guyton misses the first of two. Prior to that, Indiana 11 of 14 at the line. See, the one thing at Indiana, every day you better come to practice and practice with intensity and practice with an understanding that today is the most important day in the life at Indiana as a player. Because what you did yesterday is history. He doesn't care what you did yesterday. He cares what you do today if you're going to earn playing time. Hoosier is dictating the tempo. Over the aces, they lead it by 10. We'll be right back to the garden. Taco John's wants you to have a happy holiday, the Mexican way, with nachos navidad. Lots of fresh-made corn tortilla chips piled high and topped with all kinds of delicious things. Nachos navidad from Taco John's. I want to wish you a Merry Honest, reliable service. That's just what you'll find at Rabin Tire. Our technicians are ASE certified. That's automotive service excellence. And even though many of them have as much as 20 years experience, they still go to workshops and seminars to learn the latest technologies. What's more, they're just good people. And they'll treat your vehicle as if it were their own. Rabin Tire. Our heating and air conditioning dealer is Dave Lennox. Actually, that's Wayman Brackett at Brackett Sheet Metal. People trust Dave to keep them comfortable. Wayman Brackett. It's not just that Dave has the best equipment. This is Dave. I'm Wayman. He also passed that Lennox Quality Dealer Standards Program. Dave, Wayman. So if you've got a problem, call Dave. Or call Brackett Sheet Metal. Lennox, 5,000 independent dealers, 100 years of service. One less thing to worry about. Attaboy, Dave. Wayman. 
Indiana in control early. Just under eight minutes left in the half, a 25-15 lead for Indiana over Evansville. A huge game as far as the AFC wild card picture is concerned. The Eastern Division race as well. Drew Bledsoe of the Patriots, 8-4 going into the contest. The ESPN Sunday Night Football taking on Junior Seau and the Chargers. They are 7-5, fighting for a wild card spot, of course, because the Denver Broncos 11-1 over in the AFC Western Division. Indiana right at the 50% mark. Evansville, though, with more chances, not capitalizing on the opportunities. Well, that's been their problem early this year, yet they're undefeated because of their defense and the effort they're making on a defensive end, but they really have had a tough time shooting the basketball early this year. 44-41 game against Iona. They won that close game against Drexel. Marley doesn't get the roll. Probably surprised he had nobody in his way on the way through the paint. He's a scorer. Turnover, turnover. Gives it back to Indiana. But Jim Cruz said he was pleased with the defensive effort of his team over the first three. They've come into the game 3-0, just like Indiana. He said, but was not happy with the way things were working for the offensive end. Satisfied, though, with the team play, but they were sharing the basketball. Well, they got to play as a team. They don't have the individual stars that can carry a club. They have to play as a unit. Everybody's got to contribute and make a positive effort. Robbie Akers, you know, timeout. Reed is free. Couldn't get the three, though. You know, you look at Indiana, 7 for 17 from Reed from three-point range coming into this game, and everybody else is 1 for 14. Farley late, so the recognition of Wilson left the spot. I really believe to win big in college basketball today, you have to have at least two guys that are big-time shooters from three-point range to give you that momentum when things aren't going well. But as we talked about it, the Duke game, better have somebody that can handle the rock with well, the rules in college basketball. You need great point guard play. And I think this kid here is going to be a tremendous point guard before it's over. He's young, and I'll make some mistakes right now. Reed caught on the baseline, threw it away. Good pressure. Nice pass. Farley over Eggers. Nice pass by Wilson, and Farley completes the play. Very aggressive, getting into the goal. Average 28 a game in high school. Broke the leg to state and scored in 1995. Guy, big time move, working it against Rising. I'll tell you, Peoria produces so many outstanding high school players. They got two great ones right now up in Peoria. A kid by the name of McLean and Marcus Griffin, and both committed, they committed to Illinois. Indiana was number two in that battle. They were hoping and praying to get them. Lon Kruger loves it. Every year, one of the best high school basketball tournaments is in Champaign, the Illinois State Champagne. High School Championships. Guyton hitting the first of two. We're going to watch the kick out to Farley. There's Farley now taking it up strong, very aggressive. Got a good angle on the cut to the goal. Beautiful kids. He had a chance to speak to a lot of these kids last night. They were huddling around. Five-star guru, Howard Garfinkel. He had many of them at his five-star camp. And we were all shooting the breeze. And I was so impressed. And I told him to Jim today. And I spoke a few moments to his kids. And I told them how they're going to make it in life. They really got the package together. The block. It will still belong. As Collier got the block back at the game now. Joining Eggers down to the baseline. It'll still belong to the Aces. 6.09 left in a sluggish beginning for Evansville at the offensive end. I fell in love with Kareem Richardson. I know he's out, not playing a whole lot because of that wrist surgery. But what a great kid. Nice little move inside right there. Reisinger from out of Harrison High School where they produced one of the greatest ever to wear an Indiana uniform, Calvert Chaney. Reed. Getting downstairs, taking the foul, and go to the line to shoot two. Indiana has already been to the free throw line almost 20 times. We still have almost six minutes left in the half, so they're gaining their way to the stripe, and they've capitalized on 14 of 18. Well, that's typical basketball from the general Robert Montgomery Knight, always making that extra pass. Shot selection so important. You play at Indiana, you better understand what a good shot is. If you don't understand within the team concept, you don't see guys going one-on-one, -on -one, breaking down people all by themselves, not within the realm of the offense or within the realm of the concepts that they try to develop. Beckley just sat down with his third foul, Emmy Morales, a native of Spain. Yeah, Comes Joe, back in. Told me he played in uh, high school against uh, Eterbe, an outstanding passer for Clemson. Ricky Perot, also from out of Spain. Plays for Wake Forest, 6'10", like, plays the small forward slot at 6'10", down there for Davey Odom. Like to cover those games with William Marbella, Port of News. We take it. a couple of free throws and a 29-19 lead for Indiana. 
Wilson. Feet on the baseline. Indiana trying to give some help on any kind of dribble penetration. Take away by Guyton. He's got good quickness. He's got good quickness. Counter to the ghost. Wilson, or making Quinn rather, committing the foul. Guyton really read the pass well. Yeah, AJ stepped right in the lane. He's the kind of kid you're going to really like. The one thing that Bob likes about this club, he said these young kids, Guyton and Kyer, are so coachable. And there's Guyton right now stepping in the lane, making like a defensive back. Now he's looking at the defensive player, and he's going to try to seal him off. He's going to try to protect the basketball. And he draws the contact. And his reactions, oh, I wanted to get that layup. Oh, why didn't that go down? I'm playing at the Mecca. I'm the Madison Square Garden. Been a little choppy, not chippy over the first half of play so far. Evansville has not been able to really get in a flow at the offensive end. Very quiet crowd as well. I mean, last year at the NIT, you ready for this? The Marbury, Iverson, and then when they hooked up, I mean, this place was rocking. This place was electrical. And then Arizona, who, by the way, Dickerson got 31 again against Northern Arizona. Watch Arizona. When they get Simon back with Bibby, Dickerson, and Simon, wow, are they going to put points on the board. Lou Olson's got himself the making of a heck of a team. Nice drive by Hollander. Hollander, an excellent passer, and gets the score right there. They're looking for him to score a little more. Guy way out. And the rebound for Carlo. Well, let's see if that can spark Evansville. That drive by Hollander. He's just come in off the bench. Nice see. Got around Reed. Ball was batted away. Good help for Neil Reed. A little block coming from Robbie Eggers. Had a 20-second timeout taken. Hollander made that nice little drive. He's an inside-outside player with great passing ability. Did a look of Layden right there. He played in high school with Eric Montrost down at Lawrence North High School in Indianapolis. We see the court open up. Little drive down the lane. Nice move by Hollander. Defense stepped out. See, the defensive player for Indiana didn't step in and close off that driving lane, and that's usually a no-no. And I'll guarantee you that'll be in the film room brought out to him. And then when the big guy Gallier finally came out to get him indecisively, he was almost in no man's land. Caught in the middle. Just look at Jim Cruz. Started at Indiana as a freshman and all of a sudden the arrival of Bobby Wilkinson made him a player who contributed off the bench. Indiana leads by 11. 30 to make it 9. 30 to 21. Nice Again, pass. Just look to Morales. Give the assist to Hollander, the spark off the bench. Well, we just talked about his passing ability, and you saw it right there. A little 3D man, drive, draw, dish the rock, and that's what he did to Morales. He did a little handoff. Chris Hollander's a junior platoon of a... Oh, nice fake. Michael Lewis. Nice fake by Lewis. Big time score in high school last year. Farley available. The scoop from the holster. Beat Indiana down the floor right there. Farley makes that good effort, taking it up to the goal. Six to nothing run for Evansville. They're only down by five now. 4.15 and counting left in the half. Right now, they can't allow Indiana to get a spurt, get a double-figure lead to go in at halftime. They want some confidence. They got to lock up on a defensive end here. And if you're Indiana, you're looking to get some good open shots out of Reed. He's their guy that can shoot the jumper, and there it is. Available. Can't finish it, though. Got the nice pick from Eggers to free him up in the corner. Yeah, Eggers did a great job laying that screen, and he did even a better job to utilize the screen just that he didn't complete the play. Reed forgot about Hollander. He'll go to the line to shoot, too. Hollander's give him a spark. With two drives and a great pass, Hollander has really provided a little spark off the bench for Jim Cruz. We're going to watch this little dribble penetration by Hollander now. We're going to see him make the pass. Freezing right here. Now watch. He's going to kick it out right here as he gets into this gap right here. He draws the defense, and there's the little handball. And Morales goes up and scores. Hollander definitely has. Kicked up the aces coming off the bench just a couple of minutes ago. He's a junior. Another look. There's Farley right now. Aggressive. Takes the ball up. He's got that scores mentality. You don't average 28 a game in high school without being aggressive on the offensive end. The free throws are there for Hollander. He has sparked the 8 to nothing run for the aces, and they're down by only three. Idiots. You have failed me. It wasn't our fault. Had a Subaru Outback. Outback? Got better gas bottles than our Cherokee. How the turn tighter than our Blazer? Brake better than our Explorer. Silence, fools. Just tell me what you need to catch him. <laughs> our own Outback would be nice. With a CD player and leather. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Subaru Outback, the world's first sport utility wagon. When it comes to free gasoline, who's the top performer? The Shell MasterCard from Chase. Which card lets you earn free Shell gasoline month in and month out? The Shell MasterCard from Chase. Which card now has a special no annual fee offer? The Shell MasterCard from Chase. To apply, call 1-800-FREE-GAS or pick up an application at a Shell station. That isn't the last one, is it? Yeah, why? Did I mention that I found the negatives from your bachelor party? It'd be a shame if Carla found out about that whole Niagara thing. Can you say cubic zirconia? For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Room service. Welcome back once again to the Garden of New York. Joel Myers along with Dick Vitale. And the gentleman who's had just a few games here. Courtside, three-point lead. Oh, Luigi! Where's Luigi, the sweater? one of my favorite guys. Where's Louis Cornaseca. Oh, I miss him doing his little dance on the sideline. The Barishnikov for coaching. He was a ballerina act on the sideline. Luis Cornaseca. Hall of Famer. Swatted away by Hollander, but it'll go to the line to shoot two. Redmond. Red Storm, whatever you'd like to call them. They have not been the same since he retired. Well, the Red Storm got beaten in their opening game. You and I ran into uh, well, Brian Mahoney, and then last night I went over to a Broadway play, saw a Smokey Joe's Cafe for the third time. Went to see it's a great play with Ray Tipton, our producer, and Brian Mahoney was there. Brian Mahoney, former coach that would be a great assistant coach in the NBA. So anybody out there in the NBA, Calipari, Carlissimo, take care of guys like Mahoney. Help the guy out. He needs a job now. He knows basketball. He's loyal. Dedicated. Indiana with those two free throws, Jake, has scored 19 of their 32 points at the, line. at the line. At the line. Inside of three and a half minutes left in the half. Well, they had him inside. Morales missed them. That stops an eight to nothing surge by Evansville. The dish for Morales a little bit late from Reisinger. Lewis leads the break. Not a good what pass right like Hollander, He floated that basketball, didn't make the good pass. Had the right idea, but just didn't deliver the basketball, didn't deliver the rock. Flat City, USA in here right now. Really not a lot of electricity. Very calm, very quiet. Top of the good to describe as often as Indiana has. Every 20 seconds. That's utilizing those screens. They really make you work hard. They work on that. They points of emphasis constantly in practice. Move without the ball, flash, post up. Reed, Reed is in space. Couldn't capitalize. Nice rebound. Got behind the three. The long rebound for Charlie Miller who just came back into the game with a couple of personal fouls. Got to get three opportunities, and that's going to hurt. Jim Cruz upset with that. Give him three shots at the goal. Constant motion. They're going to pass go away. Watch the action away. You see the movement. Great for Reed. Could handle it. They do all their danger away from the ball. I remember they had Sloan screen number 45. He used to lay those screens on the great Indiana teams. Guyton off the dribble. There's Guyton with that little dribble. I mentioned Sloan screen 45. That was Jerry Sloan's son. Jerry was a superstar when he played at Evansville. Now doing a great job. Stability in the coaching ranks out of Utah. I give them credit. They don't fire coaches out there like they do everywhere else. Build stability. Jerry was a great player in a college level. Third foul on Reisinger after he had it taken away, and Michael Lewis is going to go to the free throw line. Don't Bobby forget, coaching. relax the day after you have a ton of turkey. Dollars basketball triple header coming your way on ESPN Friday at 7:30 Eastern. Pitts on the road at the Dean Dome, taking on North Carolina. 14th ranked Tar Heels. Then Dick and I back here for the championship game of the Chase NIT. Duke waiting to find out whether it's going to be Evansville or Indiana. And at a midnight, the great Alaska shootout. 
I watched Ralph Willard do a great job when he first shot west of Kentucky, and I really thought that Pittsburgh was going to turn the corner last year, and then certainly this year because they were so young. But I'm really kind of surprised to see them beaten so easily by Illinois State and in double figures again by Navy. So that's going to be a tough game for them going on a road playing North Carolina. Lead is back to nine. After it was down to three, six straight for Indiana. And again, so much damage to the free throw line. And a walk, Morales. He lifted his pivot foot. Muye Zinovich. Good defense by Muye Zinovich on the interior. He joined us late, 21 of the 36 points for the Hoosiers coming at the free throw line. It's been that kind of first 20 minutes of play. Reed was free. I tell you, they, really, the gut. they grab him, they hold him, he comes off those screens, really works hard without the ball. The best I've ever seen without the ball in Indiana was awful. Lewis on the penetration move will try to convert on the three-point play. He was a big-time scorer in high school, Joe. You look at his numbers in high school, they were really impressive. I mean, a kid had over 3,000 points on a high school level. He was runner-up in the state for Mr. Basketball. Yeah, to Kevin All. There it is with the drive. A lot of people thought the kid that should have won the award, I mean, not going to take anything away from all, is the kid playing now at Purdue, Jerron Cornell, from out of South Bend, Indiana. Three-point play is complete for Michael Lewis, and the lead, the largest it's been at a dozen, Indiana. Made that nice run, they had that eight-zip run, Evansville, and all of a sudden, Indiana had a timeout and got a spark. The general is orchestrated a nine to nothing spurt. Wilson, good touch, didn't get the roll, though. Last touch by the Hoosiers. Stays at the Aces end of the floor. Minute 12 left in the half. Farley checks out. Quinn coming back in. Patterson on the bench for a long time now for the Indiana Hoosiers. Andre Patterson with a couple of personal fouls. Had nine early points, though. So he was the catalyst over the first 10 minutes. Hollander with a spin on Guyton, leaving it off. Quinn foul. Good inside passing, though, by Hollander. Nice move down the lane, moving without the basketball. Excellent cut right there by Quinn. Turned to right to go to that free throw line. Gary Miller. Jager Phelps standing by with our Delta Fawcett halftime report coming up in the next 63 seconds. Scores from college basketball. Plenty of upsets brewing. And Marcus Quinn hitting the first of two. Chris Quinn, of course, an economics major. All academic last year, Missouri Valley Conference. I like that. So the econ major with a couple. We're down to the final 60 seconds of the half. Motion, constant motion. The work rate's incredible on the Hoosier squad. And you see the same thing the opposite end from Jim Cruz. You know, everybody talks about young teams, but Indiana's certainly young. We've got Lewis right here at Diaper Dandy. You certainly took Dyke at Diaper Dandy. Collier at Diaper Dandy. I mean, you're playing young kids like that, and you're winning. I mean, that's a positive sign. And especially, you know, beating the likes of Princeton. Princeton, a very good basketball team. In fact, Princeton had the lead. All you got to do is pull up Jim Herrick down at UCLA. When he was at UCLA, about Princeton. Sullivan gets free. Nice little jump shot by Sullivan. He could really shoot off that jumper. Stuart Sullivan from Upton, Kentucky, a senior. Bringing them back within eight. Final shot time now for the Indiana Hoosiers. And if you're up in blue, you want to keep them under double figures going at halftime. We say that so many times psychologically. Right now, you want to lock up defensively. You don't want to go in halftime down double digits. It would have counted for Guyton had it gone, but it was short. So an eight-point lead at the break for the teacher over the student. Bobby Knight over Jim Cruz. Let's head back to the studio now. 39-31 Indiana. Gary Miller, Digger Phelps. It's all yours. All right, thanks a lot, Joel and Dick. We'll be back to them shortly. Evansville, very game for most of that first half, but why has Indiana built this eight-point lead? You just saw it at the end. You, you like the penetration. A.J. Guyton likes to penetrate. It allows Nail Reed now to open up and be a baseline player, and he's a scorer. So that combination gives him a one-two punch on the perimeter. Okay, we'll get back out there shortly. There's some upsets brewing. Arkansas and Texas both in trouble in the second half. We'll tell you all about that at the half. It's Indiana 39-31. ESPN's presentation of the NIT is brought to you by Nike and by Subaru. Test drive the Subaru Outback, the world's first sport utility wagon. Here come the discount long-distance sales reps again. They'd like some more of your precious time. 
Because if you've got a minute, they've got an offer. A big international savings over AT&T. Just one catch. That offer of big savings may show up at your door, but it won't show up on your bill. Has a discount long distance rep offered you big international savings? Call us for the facts. The good news is Little Caesar's Pizza by the Foot is big. That's also the bad news. Hey, look out! Pizza by the Foot. Nearly three feet of pizza and free Italian bread, just $10.99. Carried out or have it delivered. Pizza, pizza. If you got a beard, we've got your number. The adjustable Maverick Beard and Mustache Trimmer with six different settings. Man, does this do a number on beards. Maverick from Norelco. Good eye, Uncle. Need a lift? Nice car, kid. It's me Subaru Outback Sport. Not a Outback. Same old wheel drive traction as yours. Better gas mileage than a Cherokee Sport. That's fine, but can she... Alcorn or RAV4? No problem. Smart boy. Must run in the family. Outback Sport. The newest Outback from Subaru. Welcome back to the Delta Fawcett Halftime Report. Digger Phelps, Gary Miller with you. Let's get right to the action. Waiting on Friday for the winner of our Evansville, Indiana game. Sixth ranked Duke. Tough time with Tulsa for most of this game. We saw it earlier here on ESPN. Mike Krzyzewski's unbeaten team going against Shea Seals, a team that has worked over UCLA. Also worked over the Dream Team. Seals at 11 in the first half. Tulsa, shock and Duke up by one at the break. Second half, we're tied at 39. Chris Carrawell. Takes the feed, bounces hard, slams it home. Duke builds a double-figure lead with the help of that slam. Late second half, Tulsa has another run. Long range, Rod Thompson. Tulsa back within two. Ten seconds left. They're down three with a nice pick underneath by Newton. And Duke holds on to win it 72 to 67. That moves them into the championship of the preseason NIT. They're 10 and 1 in this tournament. They can win it on Friday. You can see it here at 9.30 Eastern, that should be p.m. It is not a morning game, so you have all night to figure out when you want to catch the action there. Now, we told you about some upsets brewing. How about Rhode Island and Texas? Tom Penders taking on the school that he helped build into a national program. Long range is Brandy Perriman. That is beyond NBA. Rhode Island comes right back. The Rams were not intimidated by playing in Austin. The follow-up on the slam by Mobley. Then Texas goes to the D. Chico Vasquez. The block! The rejection slams it off the glass. The Rams keep coming down the lane, though, and then they dish out. Chad Thomas for the three. Rhode Island's been in command since midway through the second half, but back comes Texas. We're about at the halfway point of the second half, and they've closed to within four. Reggie Freeman's got eight. Mobley so far leads all scores with 13. I love Rhode Island. Al Skinner's got his starting five back. They're not afraid to play at Texas and Tommy Penders. I think they can make a run in the 8-10 on UMass and George Washington. Arkansas and Oral Roberts. This one in Tulsa. Arkansas with a slam on the wide open floor running from Landis Williams. Sky in for the dunk. How about Oral Roberts, though? Playing some D. Arkansas gets sloppy. The Titans to Tim Gill all alone. Skying for the jam to tie the game at 33. They weren't satisfied with the time. Blake Moses, big, bald, burly, breaking free, and he's also got a little finesse. All Roberts had the lead at that point. Arkansas is hanging with him. It is late, uh, about midway through the second half, but it's now 58 to 55. Nolan Richardson, eight wins shy of 400. Gill, you saw a breakaway in the slam. This is one of the few independents left in the nation. They play teams like Rockhurst. They're hanging right there with Arkansas. Maui Invitational Consolation Action, LSU in South Carolina. That's B.J. Mackey, who had two dozen for the Gamecocks. The Tigers find Bob Hall on the baseline. He had a dozen. The long-range bombing of Larry Davis was part of the Gamecock story as they win it 74-68. to They'll meet in an SEC game in February. Right now, this is a game that helps them to fifth place in the Maui Invitational. UMass 
beaten for the second straight night. They're probably going to fall out of the top 25. Cal gave Kansas a long run. Now they knock off the Minutemen, 59 to 55. Ed Gray had a great tournament. He had 15 in that game. Iowa evens its record at 2-2. Two two. The hosts end up winless in their own tournament. Chaminade losing by 30. Fall to 0-3. Jess Settles, who got hurt in the opening game of this tournament, missed this one as well, as did a couple of Hawkeye players battling the flu. Coming up, after we finish up the second semifinal at Madison Square Garden, we take you out to Maui for the championship game. Kansas hoping to move up to number one this week, but Virginia is trying to thwart that. You can see it right here on our air. Providence and Long Island, triple digits as Providence knocks off the upset-minded Long Island. Remember, over the weekend, Richie Parker and Charles Jones were keys to helping Long Island beat St. John's in their own gym. Now they take on another Big East team. Jones had 26, but Providence a little bit too much on this season. Well, Pete Gell had a tough loss against Middle Tennessee up in Alaska over the weekend, so they're rebounding to become the team they should be in the Big East. North Carolina State beats Lamar with ease. They win it by 15, a career-high 17 points for Clint Harrison. Richmond all over Wolford, 87 to 55. Rick Edwards had 21 points in that game. St. Francis of Pennsylvania against Duquesne, 79 to 68. But Duquesne winning that game by 11. Well, Digger, we, we talked about Duke. They had a little tougher time than they thought, but Tulsa is clearly a team that maybe has a chance to be ranked by the end of the year, but what was the secret for Duke? I thought Duke's secret tonight was defense. You know, they shoot 40% for the game, but the key to this game when you get down to it, Duke forces Tulsa into 23 turnovers, and Coach K likes that because when they get points off turnovers, you don't have to worry about shooting the jumpers at a perimeter game. Look for Ricky Price, who went 0 for 6 tonight, to really become an offensive threat as the year goes on, and I think that's where they're going to get more point production, but the turnovers, pressure defense is working for Coach K. Yeah, Mike Krzyzewski very happy with this win because they got annihilated on the boards tonight, 50 to 35, but they used the pressure D to keep themselves in and win it. We continue on the Delta Halftime Report. We are headed for the second half of Evansville and Indiana, but we got more to show you after this. This Halftime Report is presented by Delta Faucet and your dependable Delta plumbing professional. Together, they're the way water is brought to life. When plumbers hit the road, they carry more than a truckload of faucets and pipes. They carry knowledge about products, like why the finishes and solid brass construction of Delta faucets are right for you. They carry knowledge about styles and knowledge about procedures and codes that tell you they're as committed to perfection as we at Delta are. In fact, there's only one thing as dependable as Delta faucets, and that's the plumber who installs them. Delta, the way water is brought to life. The spider like traction of all wheel drive. The new Subaru 2.5 GT can take you places those European sports sedans simply can't. Mere mortals. This is for Coach Brannigan, who kept me in that game, and for all the kids who voted for me. For my family, who said there isn't anything I can't do. And for myself, who believes in To prevent my heartburn, I'll do almost anything. But if I take Pepsi at AC, they say I should wait an hour to eat. Why? when new Tagamet HB200's label says it prevents heartburn in half that time. And Tagamet has more acid blockers than Pepsid AC, so it blocks stomach acid faster. That doesn't mean it's stronger, just faster. And it lasts for hours. New Tagamet HB200. More acid blockers help block acid faster. Take it back in that Namawi Invitational. Courtney Alexander, great ball moving. He was between his legs and then hits the Jays. He rattles it home. Craig McAndrew with a great pass. Curtis Staples will bang the three. There, I just got it running on three cylinders. Terrell Dean with a dish to Norman Nolan and Bruiser Flint. Got a little frustrated. His UMass guards are supposed to be maybe the best in the country. The two magnificent Puerto Ricans, Padilla and Travieso. 
And they're seniors coming back, let them into the Final Four a year ago, but certainly Virginia played to their level and none beyond, Digger. Well, we saw what Clemson did to Kentucky, you know, the first week of the season, November 15th. Now you see that three-guard offense with Alexander, Dean, and Curtis, uh, Staples inside, but the other thing, when you take a look at what goes on with the three-guard offense, you got the big man inside. And I really like the physical play that we saw with Norman Nolan last night, 20 points, being physical. Virginia will challenge Kansas, but we saw one upset last night with Xavier beating Cincinnati at number one, Kansas number two. Virginia is ready to play. Okay, that's something Roy Williams is going to have to concern himself about. What we're concerned with before we get to Kansas, Virginia, is the second half of Evansville, Indiana. We'll be back on the Delta Fawcett Halftime Report right after this break. Friday's the day at Shoe Carnival. Doors open 6 a.m. Unheard of early bird specials. Men's Nike Total Yardage Trainer, $39.88. Ladies Reebok FT5000, $26.88. Men's Nike Extreme Flight, $24.88. $500 cash, give it away at 8 a.m. and $500 cash at 10 a.m. Plus, entire stock of shoes, second pair, half price. And last chance to register to win in the holiday surprise, $10,000 cash, plus great prizes from Tropical Accents, Pools and Spas, Brinkers, Jewelers, and more. The Shoe Carnival. The man on the right has an American Dream vent-free gas fireplace from Temco. The man on the left has a problem. The man on the right knows his American Dream vent-free fireplace saves him money on energy bills. The man on the left has a problem. The man on the right enjoys the glowing embers, three heat settings, and location flexibility. The man on the left has a big problem. So when you look at the American Dream, wouldn't you rather make the right choice? Visit Fireside Gallery today. If I ever had a problem with my heating and air conditioning, I don't know who I'd call. How about Bracket Sheet Metal, your independent Linux dealer? It would have to be someone I could trust. Dave at Bracket Sheet Metal, I'm your man. Someone who's knowledgeable. Brackets pass the Linux quality dealer standards. With high quality products. Bracket Sheet Metal again. Someone who looks good in overalls? That'd have to be Dave Linux. Linux, 5,000 independent dealers, 100 years of service. One less thing to worry about. Welcome back to the Delta Fawcett Halftime Report. A little NHL update for you. Scoreless game between the defending Stanley Cup champions and the Rangers. What a great stop by Mike Richter. A couple of saves, but then Mike Ricci scores on the other side of the open net. His second of the season, the Avalanche score very early in the game. That's all that's happened so far. It's a one to nothing game. A couple of NBA updates for you. They started the second half. The Sonics had their 11-game win streak broken last night. They're up by nine in the target center. The Lakers having a tough time with the Celtics. That one is 72 to 69 as the Lakers look for their fourth straight road win. A reminder, Sports Center coming your way after the Maui Championship. We'll have the full NBA story for you in a preview of the Cowboys Redskins. Would a man attack the peak of K2 if a remarkably soft pair of pants were placed there? Would a man tread the lip of a volcano for pants that were pure cotton yet wrinkle-free? Would a man brave the trackless Sahara for pants that were suitable for work and play? A man would, if he were a fool, because he could go to the store and say, yes, I'd like to try on the ultimate pant, new by Hager. Besides, your wife won't let you go to the Sahara anyway. You can get lots of stuff, and you don't have to pay too much. Now's the time to zero in on Christmas gifts at Sears Brand Central. You can get a camcorder, a VCR. Get 0% finance charge till March. A TV, a refrigerator. Two days only, Friday and Saturday. I'm going today. There's nothing to it. You can leave your money in the wallet. You can really save. In the bank. In, in, in your sock. Aluminum. Most new car radiators are made of it, making them a big target for pitting and failure. But Prestone Antifreeze bonds with aluminum, forming the Prestone Zone of protection against corrosion. This winter, protect your car in the Prestone Zone. And now there's a new Prestone Antifreeze with a new Lotox formula for an extra margin of safety around pets and wildlife. New Prestone Lotox. It's extra protection in the Prestone Zone. They are a new breed of individual investor, and their numbers are growing. They know the power of information, and they don't act on impulse. They go into a stock armed with facts, building portfolios for the long haul. For this new breed of investor, a major new resource from NASDAQ, stock quotes, price performance, and soon, company news and personal portfolio tracking. 
accessible instantly over the internet at nasdaq.com. ESPN's presentation of the NIT is brought to you by Chase. At Chase, the right relationship is everything. Eight-point lead at the break for Indiana over Evansville. 39 to 31, our second semifinal with the Chase NIT. And welcome back once again to Madison Square Garden. Joel Myers along with Dick Vitale. And Evansville in pretty good shape, Jake, when you consider Indiana went to the line 27 times for only seven trips to the stripe for the Aces. Well, you know, the Aces had a little spurt there where they really got a little alive and made some big shots. The bottom line is they're going to have to find a way not to put Indiana on that free throw line. 22 for 27 on the line is incredible when you look at the difference here. I mean, 15 more points from the free throw line, and you're looking at an eight-point game. So they got to try to neutralize that situation, number one. Number two, you look at a scenario, they got to find the way somehow to make some threes they got guys capable of knocking down the three and they got to make some trifectas as you look at Indiana for the season averaging close to 27 a game and they get 27 at halftime so the Aces will start with the ball to begin the second 20 minutes of play and Dick we were just talking before we came out of the break he said this first four minute period is going to be critical for Evansville I really believe that I think that if they get a little spurt to get back in the game and really develop some confidence I mean we'll have a game if not if Indiana goes on a spurt in the next four minutes and gets this to 12 to 14 I think Indiana's superior strength will be the difference Tiger's got to get involved a little bit offensively. 11 minutes, he really wasn't involved. Patterson started off big, but picked up those two fouls that you alluded to earlier in the first half, and really that took him out of the game and put him on a bench. So Patterson with the first two for the Hoosiers to start the second half. Ten-point advantage, Stuart Sullivan. Can't shoot. It's a three-pointer. That's what got I'm, some good shooters. That's what I'm talking about. They got to knock down some threes, and he's so capable. Shot 45% last year from three-point range. Seven point deficit. Opening minute of the second half. Play so can't hard. Come up with that surge you're talking about. Who will be the catalyst? Is it going to be Sullivan? You got to really be impressed with the effort. Oh, you got to make that nice pass. What a good look to Michael Lewis from Guyton. Lewis blows it again. Guyton made a great pass. Great vision to make that happen. Trying to get it to Collier. He towers over Morales. They got to get completed. They got to get Collier involved offensively. He's got to put points on the board here. He should be able to dominate, I think, inside with his size and touch against the caliber right now that's on the floor. Got a hold on Patterson out front, or will it be? No, it'll be Lewis. That's a break. You start to get tentative as a player. Whenever you come in with a big reputation, you don't get that good start early in the game, and you start to mentally maybe get down on yourself a little bit, and you got to be able to shake that, and that's what Jason's got to do now. He's too talented. He's got to shake that and become active inside. Wilson very quiet in the first half. Their leading score altered his shot due to the pressure from Collier. Farley doesn't get the roll, and Collier kicks it out of the break to Reed. Good rebound right there by Collier. There's a good ball reversal. Indiana likes to swing it side to side. Had the open shot early in the set. Now Patterson not ready for the pass. He's followed by Quinn. Another break for Indiana. Indiana likes to run those flash post moves into the lane. Trying to get those good angle cuts. Chris Quinn picking up his third foul. I remember listening to Bobby talking to his players about passing, making good judgments, passing the basketball, passing accuracy. Guyton got away. Nice little rub off that screen on the inbound. Oh, he's going to be a heck of a player. He really is, Joe. We're looking at a kid we sometimes don't realize coming right out of high school, several months later, played in a major college environment, playing where expectations are great, wearing that Indiana uniform. Quinn, great nice look. pass. Good look right there. And accepted a very difficult pass to get it across to Morales. Yeah, Morales open, but Quinn makes that play happen with that driving bounce pass. See, that's the one thing. You're in the end and you're Duke. You take everybody's best hit. Everybody steps it up. It's like Notre Dame in football. Everybody plays at another level. And you have to consider the intimidation factor as well for the Evansville Aces facing basically Big Brother, the Indiana Hoosiers. Lewis charging. You call him Big Brother. Wow. Big Brother, Little Brother. Uh, 
to go that far, but <laughs> can be imposed. Sometimes little brother takes over and takes charge and takes command. We'll find out over the next 17-08. Indiana leading by seven with that charge, just like a turnover. Second follow on Lewis. They get excellent spacing. They really know how to play the kids at Evansville. Great understanding. That's a reflection of the guy on the sideline, Jim Cruz. That's why he went to the postseason five out of 11 years, five 20 game win seasons. The sophomore from South Bend, Marcus Wilson, losing the handle. South Bend produces a lot of good high school players. Right now, an outstanding young player down at Purdue, where he's playing behind Chad Austin. He certainly should be one of the premier guards in the Big Ten, but Brunel will be a special player in the Purdue uniform. Oh, they missed him. Shannon Kyer the ball. As the back screen by Kyer steps out. Guy, tough fall away. And three aces around the basket, making sure there was only one try at the offensive end for Indiana. Farley on the move. And he walked. On the move a little bit too much. A little traveling music right there from the kid from Brebuff High School. 13 turnovers now. Outstanding. By the aces. Jim Cruz played on that great team in 76. I really believe that was the best team I've ever seen assemble. I'm not saying that the Walton era and the Lou Alcinda era teams weren't as good, but I'm talking to epitomizing how to play as a team with Buckner, Wilkerson, May, Abernathy, and Benson. They were really so special in their understanding of how to play. Dallier. Jason gets on a board. Out there. Yeah, he gets on a board, the big fella. Great touch, Catholic Central High School, Springfield, Ohio, won the state championship, Mr. Basketball. He's got four now. There's that motion game, trying to utilize the post. The young man did it all. He was the catalyst for Evansville when they put together their run in the first half. Just came off the bench, Chris Hollander. Yeah, comes Hollander. Through. They're trying to get him to develop a little more of a mentality to score, and he's showing that here tonight. Gallier thinking about taking to the hoop once again. Committing the turnover. So the ace is down by only seven. We'll have the ball when we return. The members of the Achilles Track Club have taught us what we consider to be the most important principle in banking. Never underestimate any person's worth. And we at Chase proudly support and are inspired by their efforts. Chase, because the right relationship is everything. Things a mess. <laughs> Feeling stressed. Electronic labeling system. They really lowered the prices. I couldn't believe the bill was so low this time. Everywhere you look on the menu, they had new low prices. Red Lobster's new low prices, like our $7.99 shrimp combo, freshly prepared sizzling scampi, plus beer battered shrimp so light and crunchy, with salad and Cheddar Bay biscuits, just $7.99. Can't beat the food, can't beat the price. It's all part of 15 dinners under $10 at Red Lobster now. When you go home, you say, I'm satisfied. Wow. <laughs> He's the best at utilizing time in coaching or out of coaching, just with his life. He's the best at utilizing time with the coaching is he teaches every day. I mean, he just doesn't put something in and then lets it sit and rest. It's, it's taught every single day. And I think uh, any of the professors or grade school teachers, if they come with it, and that's hard to do because human nature doesn't want, you don't want to teach every day sometimes, and, and actually the students or the players don't want to learn every day. That's just human nature, but he has the ability to teach every single day on the court and off the court with his players. The thoughts of one of Bobby Knight's best students, Jim Cruz. He loves Jim. Jim, one of the special people that played for him down in Indiana. He's put a lot of guys out in the coaching fraternity, you know, when you think about all the guys out there, Dave Bliss now doing a great job at New Mexico. Reisinger rising to the occasion. Look at Reisinger stepping up, showing some emotion. Harrison High School fame, Walter McCarty from Kentucky, now playing here in New York in the Big Apple with the Knicks, who really disappointed early in the gate, out of the gate. Dallas it down to four, Dick. Big possession. Patterson got right around Begley. Nice try. Triple threat position by Andre. AP takes the gap, goes up and scores. Patterson will lead the 
Hoosiers with 13 and spent so much of the second 10 minutes of the first half on the bench. Ball stripped away. Nice post asking for it. Really do a great job posting inside. They really post up well. Bob not happy at all with that post defense. He's going to make a change. Yes, here comes Bouye Zinovich. He was upset that Collier let him set up like that. Didn't try to take away the angle. And there was no denial at all. Neil Reed, top floater on the baseline. They're writing his offensive efficiency. I'll tell you, Reed is a guy that really produced some points for them exceptionally. I'll tell you, he's doing a great job moving without the ball. Last year he had a handle of the ball, but now with Dyke and he can play off the ball. Big time block by Patterson. See, Patterson. Look by Reisinger, though. Patterson's got to start to dominate inside. Kicks out for the three. Patterson. He can make the three. He's he got. can make the three. Lewis with the assist. He's got star ability. He knocked out four of those against Wisconsin. 16 now for Andre Patterson. Missed a lot of minutes also getting those two fouls. Rising. Keeping it alive, but it's slapped out to Reed. He's got Patterson for the lob. He wanted to throw the lob. And Patterson pushed it right back out. Patterson was putting the hand up. The to lob's the lob. Oh, finish it. Finish it. it was a low toss for Andre Patterson. Yeah, his timing was just a little bit off right there. Hollinger trying to go with the gadget play. He was trying to be Larry Bird. He thought he was Larry Bird. He thought he was, Larry Bird. he thought he was the kid from French Lick. He thought he was the kid from French Lick, Indiana. He wanted to flip it off his shoulder. He wanted to make it like Mr. Bird used to make at Indiana State. There's the lob. See, it's right now the timing's behind him. Doesn't have that great, great timing on that play. Got to throw it out in front of him. Straight points for the Hoosiers. After it's only a four-point lead for Indiana over the Aces. Just about seven minutes gone by. Shot clock winding down. I like that nickname, the Purple Aces. Hollander. Look at Hollander. He's moved. I'll tell you, he's playing well tonight. He's doing exactly what they want. When I called him up, they said, we got to get some scoring when I was trying to do my preparation. They said, what about Hollander? They said, we got to get some scoring out of him. Let's always make the pass. Right. Not exactly the look of the basket that Bobby Knight would appreciate. And a break with a foul. You're going to see some young kids make mistakes. You know, they're going to see them make errors on a floor. Kids like Guyton, but you got to let them learn while they're playing. Hollander now away from the ball. Look at him posting up inside. He says, Guyton, you can't play me down here. You can't play me down here. Get out of my way. Gives him a little push. I mean, Larry, Larry, how'd you let him get that post position with that little push? Now a little fake inside. I like that little slide and glide move. We go up and under. First free throw this half for Indiana after they took 27 and made 22 of those in the first 20 minutes of play. Harris has really struggled on a free throw line. Last year, he really struggled big time. Oh, he is in a bit. Missing both. Comes up empty on that line. Last year, he only hit 51 percent, as you mentioned, Dick. Oh, he's got an opportunity. I want to wish my best to John Vitale is covering right now. Oh, thank now you. In New Jersey. And my partner and friend Dick Vitale's dad hailing right now. And our prayers, our best wishes to John Vitale. Really appreciate that. He's in the hospital. I'll see you tomorrow, Dad. Uh, Thanksgiving. Tell him we're thank you, please. I will. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Joel. Jump shot right there by Hollander. Five-point game. They lay those screens. One thing is that Uwe Zinovich really lays the screen. I'm watching him away from the ball. He runs around and lays that body on people. Hold on, Quinn. That is his fourth. He'll take a seat on the bench now. Third team foul on Evansville. That's Ron Filling right there. Outstanding assistant coach. Has been with Bob for a number of years. Really does a great job in practice. Very intense competitor. An outstanding record as a high school coach in Illinois. J.J. Guyton trying to get in the lane. A little handoff to Patterson. Long on the three-point attempt. Lewis with the numbers in his favor now. Nice pass. Nice good look. Nice look. Yep. Lewis came up with a long rebound. Lewis scored 2,138. 38 points in high school. I gave him a little bit more credit for more than that. Sloppy play. Wilson oh. ready. The block and Guyton was the last one to touch it, they say. Now, wait a minute. They may reverse it. 
it is going to belong to Indiana. Monday night right up on that sideline. John Hughes with the change. Seven point lead for the Hoosiers. 11.37 left in our second semifinal. Driving a supercharged Riviera is a pretty racy form of entertainment. And now, with this low lease offer, it's more exhilarating than ever. Riviera by Buick. Research shows starter log gets the fire blazing first time, every time, even if your wood is a bit damp. Starter log wood fire starter. This is how you start a fire. Dear Santa, I want a fighting Frankie action figure, but not fighting Frankie. I want the bad guy with a laser and reversible face, but not the bad guy with a laser. I don't know what the heck he's talking about. Poison! Dear Santa, I want a fighting Frankie action figure. Another horse? Here, this will help. Get a Polaroid one-step camera for under 25 bucks, and maybe you'll get what you want this year. A couple of updates, a couple of shockers. Texas in Austin, but Reggie Freeman has brought them back on Rhode Island with long-range bombs. They're up 76-72 with two and a half minutes. The big shocker, Oral Roberts, the longest win streak in the country. Long-range shooting by Tim Gill. They've won 12 in a row. Arkansas has got half a minute left. Joel back. All right, Gary, get updates on those final.